Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're gonna to be cooking some pork ribs on the Barrel House Cooker Model 14D. Now this is actually a portable barrel cooker. And we'll show you today how that works. And you can see behind me, we have our camper. We're not camping, we're just happen to be in our backyard. And I'm gonna show you how we actually store this when we go on camping trips. But our camper happens to have what we call a bunkhouse. Our storage below is kind of narrow, but we're able to keep the cooker on the lower bunk. So let me show you what we got here. Hopefully you can see that. This is the majority of the cooker here. And you can see, look at these nice, heavy duty bags that they sent me to store this in. It's easy to carry, as you can see, it's lightweight. It's not heavy at all. And, you know, it keeps your, like I said, we've got it on, on this bunk and it keeps it clean. You know, you don't have to worry about it, a whole lot of mess. So that's that portion. This bag right here, I've got stored in like the grill grates and the hooks and so forth. And in this basket, Oh, excuse me, and this bag is a charcoal basket. So as you can see, we got three bags, it stores in there. It's compact, keeps the camper clean. It's easy to take on the road with you. If you have it in the back of a truck or whatever, it keeps it dry. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of details about how to put this together. You can go to barrelhousecooker.com and check out the videos there. It's very easy to do and actually pretty self-explanatory once you get it. This is the main portion of the cooker. You've got a little grill here. Uh, of course, the top that has a thermometer on it. And then inside, we have the H-frame that will hang the ribs on there today. And close that down. This right here is your charcoal basket. It's got a deep side here and then a more of a shallower side if you don't have a long cook. Works out really great. And this also turns into a, like a hibachi grill, a small grill you can take off. And if you're doing a smoke and you want to do a sear, works perfect for that. And then basically, this just kind of sits right on top. And once it sits in there, you can just kind of lock it in. And you're ready to start cooking. And I've got mine set on number one because we're, we're on the east coast here and we're, we don't have a whole lot of elevation so the number one is perfect for this so let's go ahead and get these ribs on while our grill is getting ready we're gonna go ahead and get these seasoned up. A couple of nice racks of ribs. I've already removed the membrane on both of them. And we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today with our binder. I'm gonna be using some black garlic puree. This is by Black Garlic North America. And what I've done is I've took a tablespoon of this and mixed it with a tablespoon of olive oil. And excuse me, I'm fighting flies. And we just got a little paste here and we're just going to kind of rub it all around. This is uh, something you don't want to put a whole lot on there. So a little goes a long way. So we'll go ahead and get a coating on both sides. All right, we got a good coating on here. Uh, again, you don't have to put a lot on there. It, to me, it's got kind of a sweet flavor. And my buddy Joe from Southern Coastal Cooking, he's the one that um, introduced this to me. And we want to try it on some ribs today. And so since we've got garlic here, I'm just going to use a salt and pepper mix. This is just a two to one ratio. Two parts salt to one part. This is a coarse black pepper. Got us a good coating. We're going to do both sides. Okay, our second layer is going to be by Rich's River Dirt. This is his sweet a rub. I'll leave information below to all these companies and how to get in touch with Rich. 
He's also got a, a YouTube channel. I'll put a link there as well. So we'll put a coating of this. All right, we got us a nice layer on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the hooks in. And I like to put, I like to daisy chain mine. So I'm gonna put two hooks in per rack just to keep them safe. I'm gonna go down about two rib bones down below, pop that through. And we're gonna take the other one, daisy chain it. Kind of hang it right here. Pop it down below. And now you got two hooks to help to keep these ribs a little bit more secure. So we'll finish this up and we'll get them on the cooker. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get these on. I let it, at the charcoal got where I wanted it or as far as getting them hot. Then I took it, put the top on and we left the cover off for about 10 minutes. Or the top. So we're gonna put these in here. We're going to shut this down and we're going to just kind of set it and forget it here. Um, I'm not even worried about putting a thermometer in there to check the, the heat. We're just going to kind of trust the cooker today and see where we go. I'll keep you posted at how long it's taking. I'm not worried about spraying them or anything with any type of uh, apple juice or anything like I usually do. We're just going to let it sit and see what we have at the end of the cook. We have three hours into the cook. I went ahead and took the ribs off. We're going to sauce them up put them back on the cooker for 30 minutes to let that uh, sauce set up really good and kind of caramelize. And we're gonna be using Wright's barbecue sauce, their peach chipotle. This is some great stuff, check them out. We'll get some on both sides. Just get this on there real good and we'll get them back on the cooker. All right, here's our ribs. Look at the beautiful color on here. With that rub that we put on there and then also that sauce. They smell amazing. We're gonna flip them over right quick and cut into them. These bones are kind of crooked. I'm gonna kind of see if I can get in between them there. Let's cut a couple of them so we can see what we're working with. Hopefully you can see that. Look at the juices coming out of it. Oh, look at that. Oh man, look at that. Got a little bit of a smoke ring. The juice is just, man, these are so juicy. Let's try them. Here we go. Oh man, I'm looking forward to these. Let's give this a bite. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Mm, these are so, so good. Perfect balance of the seasonings along with that chipotle, peach chipotle. Oh my God, these are so good. Mm -mm, mm. Oh man, these are so good guys. You got to try this. Thanks to Barrel House Cookers for sending me that cooker. It does great. Again, if you do a lot of traveling, camping, get this. It does a great job. Show more section below. We'll give you all the information of everything that we use today. We appreciate it so much. We're going to go ahead and end this video before the flies take me away. Thanks again for so much for watching, guys. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. God bless.